I think the easiest way to explain or define cultural appropriation for someone who's never heard of it is to make a comparison to plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you take or use something without the permission of the original source. And when something is guilty of cultural appropriation, it is taking a source of inspiration from a usually marginalized group without their permission. And this creates offensive material. I'm a fashion stylist for stories in the Stockholm Atelier. Most people don't know this. I actually have my educational background in a combination of minority studies and fashion studies. For quite some time now, I think one of the most pressing and immediate issues that's been facing the fashion industry, especially fashion design, is the topic of cultural appropriation. And I think that's kind of where I started this collaboration with our sustainability manager. I kind of offer my educational background as a resource in order to uh, create workshops and trainings. I talked to the designers and I worked with our buyers to see kind of where the challenges but also opportunities were to fill in the gaps. So we looked at the workflow and we looked at the design process and kind of decided that we needed to look at the sources of inspiration as kind of our patient zero. Where, how do we work with inspiration in order to create things that are actually genuine to our own brand? Dominant groups look at and take things from other groups. And that perpetuates these ideas of racial stereotypes, sexism, homophobia. And I think as a fashion brand, that's not something we ever want to promote. The workshops are something I've created as a way to not only present information, but also give people tangible resources. Our approach is to not only have this be a part of our company culture, but it's about developing these ways of thinking and acting that can also be included in your own communities.